Hi students, I hope you were all doing great and let's keep ourselves healthy now that we are still facing a pandemic. For today's video, I'm going to discuss to you your performance tests and your final exam. But first, let's talk about your performance tests. Now, uh, for the two topics that we have discussed before, um, we've talked about the definition and importance of recreational activities. We also have the aspect of development, wherein uh, we have the physical development, mental development, emotional development, uh, uh, spiritual and moral development, and of course, the social development. We also have the health-related physical fitness, the benefits and values, the barriers to physical education, which is uh, it's either in personal or environment, and of course, the FITT principle, which stands for the frequency, intensity, time, and type. Now, you're going to have the two-week fitness plan okay so what does it mean okay so first is uh, you have to set your calendar how many days uh, kailangan mong spend for that so it is two weeks that's why you have 14 days okay now we also have the duration how long it will take okay so uh it talks about the repetitions the set of exercises and of course we have the activities what are the set of exercises that you have to uh decide or you have to do uh, with your fitness plan or what are the uh, or what what are the activities that you have to include in each day now we also have the goals okay in each day you have to set your goals um, you have to uh, allocate your um, exercise okay and you have to set your exercise based on what you want to achieve at the end of the day now this is the sample of uh, two-week fitness plan as you can see uh, there are four columns okay in first column we have the day or the uh, date okay so um, what uh, is the day of, uh, when you started so let's say for example we have on one or Monday two for Tuesday three for Wednesday for the second uh, column we have the set of exercises take note okay so about araw po ay kailangan mag-alat kayo ng limang exercise or limang exercises like for example we have burpees um uh, planking push-ups uh wall seat at saka jumping jacks okay and then for the third column we have the repetition you have to decide uh on each uh exercise kung gaano siya katagal let's say for example in burpees you have 20 times okay or in a wall seat you have at least uh one minute okay and then uh, sa paggawa ng sa paggawa or sa pagpili ng mga exercises make it sure na you have your goal like for example eh, para sa day 1 ang goal mo is for your bicep or your for your tricep or let's say for example para diyon sa iyong um, abs or kaya sa upper or lower extremity so it's up to you okay so whether um para ba yon sa iyong upper or lower extremities so ikaw yung bahalang mamili okay that's why um Bibigyan ko kayo ng uh, freedom. Pwede naman kayo tumingin sa, sa Google. Napakadami natin doon ng mga references na pwede natin gamitin. Pero as much as possible, huwag naman natin kopyahin. You have to at least decide para at least matuto kayo kung paano ba gumawa ng isang fitness plan. So, uh, these are the things that you need to remember. Again, five exercises per day. Okay, and then be careful in putting repetitions kasi there are times na parang uh, gumagawa tayo or naglalagay tayo ng repetitions which is not applicable, which is not good for our body and at the end of the day, you will suffer from it. Kaya uh, make it sure na in each uh, exercises, kailangan makapag-set ka na tama lang, okay? You start Pro, uh, you start for the or from the light activities, okay? And then right after that, kapag kaya mo na, tsaka ka mag-alat ng mga heavy activities. And of course, you have to set your goals in each day, okay? So, like what I said a while ago. Now, in creating your fitness plan, uh, gawin niyo po siya in a Word file. Or kaya naman, after gawin niyo sa Word, i-convert niyo siya into a PDF, and then upload your work file in our Google Classroom. So, isasend ko na lang sa ating um, link or isasend ka sa ating uh, messenger yung link ng Dropbox kung saan nyo po isasend yung inyong uh, PDF file or work, Word file para po dun sa um, fitness plan na ginawa ninyo. So, take note po, ah, hindi nyo gagawin tong fitness plan na to. But instead, you just have 
uh, deep planning, okay, kung anong gagawin ninyo. And the deadline of submission will be on May 14, 2022 until 11.59 p.m. Now, let's proceed to your final exam. Okay, so instead of a uh, written exam or other activities, uh, I want you to do this final exam because this is something that um, will help. Okay, of course, uh, your body and of course, uh, you will have some uh, tips. And you know what? Uh, I want to encourage you to have this kind of workout challenge. So, okay, so this is uh, your final exam. So, it is entitled Spell Your Surname uh, Workout Challenge. So, you have uh, to get a piece of paper and then write your surname. Okay, like for example, uh, my surname. Okay, which uh, which is uh, eight letters. And then, uh, meron akong workout chart na ipapakita sa inyo. Okay, after this. And then, titignan nyo po dun kung ano yung mga exercises na gagawin ninyo in each letter. Now, create a short video showing the different exercises you've got in a workout chart. Okay, so, you heard it right. Gagawa po kayo ng video, ika-capture nyo yung sarili nyo habang ginagawa nyo yung mga exercises na nakaalat para sa inyo. Now, this is the workout chart. Okay, so makikita nyo po dito from A hanggang uh, Z. Makikita nyo po dito yung mga set of exercises na gagawin ninyo. So, it's, it doesn't matter kung mauulit siya or hindi. Okay, as long as uh, naka, ano nakalagay dyan, yun po yung gagawin ninyo. So, mamaya magbibigay ako ng example ko paano po yung gagawin. So, just, uh, you know, uh, magsanda lang kayo or i-screenshot nyo na lang or uh, para at least you have your copy at hindi kayo malito. Okay, so... Now, this is the sample. Okay, this is the example. Um, here, ang ginawa niya kasi dito ay first name. Okay, so example lang naman siya. Okay, so ganito Now, this is the sample of the uh, workout uh, chart okay, na nagawa ko uh, in my surname. Okay, so we have C, uh, which is 10, 10 push-ups, A for the 20-second plank, B for the 1-minute sprint, A for the 20-second plank, N for 15 burpees, E for the 2-minute jog, R for the 30 seconds plank, and of course, O for the 20 uh, times jumping jack. This is based on the workout chart na Uh, ginawa ko. So, ganito, ganito din yung gagawin ninyo. So, kung, kung, kung halimbawa mahaba yung anyong surname or naman ay maikli lang siya, uh, it doesn't matter. So, these are the things that you need to remember sa paggawa po ng uh, inyong final exam or sa paggawa po ng video. Again, the duration of the video or of, the, of your video will depend to your list of exercises na kuha nyo para doon or nakuha nyo doon sa inyong workout chart, okay, na ibibigay ko sa inyo. You can add music or voiceover and you know what? Just be creative in doing your uh, video because this is your uh, final exam, okay? And uh, this will be your last PE, di ba? That's why you have to give your 100% effort para at least naman, syempre, uh, maging, maging memorable naman ang inyong um, last PE. Now, after you finish your video, go to our Google Classroom and look for the Dropbox. So, magsaset pa ako doon ng Dropbox where in doon nyo po ilalagay yung inyong final exam. Ito po ay iba po pa, iba pa para doon sa task or sa performance task na pinagawa ko sa inyo. So, the deadline of submission will be on May 15, 2022 until 11.59 p.m. Now, do you have any questions? Just go to our group chat and then send your uh, messages there. And then um, if I have available time, then I will answer your inquiries, your questions. And um, thanks for your time and thanks for listening. Bye!